Sara is a 27-year-old woman who was first diagnosed with partial complex seizures at age 7. Despite multiple trials of various anti-epileptic drugs, the seizures were difficult to control. At age 20, her seizures changed in character. She was experiencing multiple daily episodes of a left-sided face, arm, and leg twitching without impairment of cautiousness. And she also developed a slowly progressive left-sided weakness. She had multiple hospitalizations for focal motor status epilepticus. Her past medical history was remarkable for asthma and depression. Sarah had a normal early childhood with no history of febrile seizures, meningoencephalitis, or head trauma. Her family history was non-contributory. On physical examination, she showed anxiety, fever, and temporary confusion. Neurological examination showed the episodes of left facial twitching every five minutes. Examination of higher mental functions showed dyscalculia and possible left neglect. Her memory, uh, orientation to place, person, and time were intact. Cranial nerve examination was significant for left homonymous hemianopia and my left facial droop. Motor coordination was poorly bilateral and her gait was very unsteady. The brain imaging revealed a striking pattern of cerebral atrophy confined to the right hemisphere. On the basis of Sarah's medical condition, physical and neurological examination, the doctors proposed epilepsy as the most suitable diagnosis. Now, what type of treatment would be suitable for Sarah? How will you decide the treatment of choice and what type of surgical procedures will be used for the treatment? You'll be able to answer these questions when you have a complete understanding of epilepsy. Scaria.com is bringing a complete lecture of more than 40 minutes on epilepsy along with short clips for quick learning. You can watch these videos on Scaria.com to solve the case study. Simply go to Scaria.com, subscribe and get a free trial for two days.